dear everyone, farmers and uh, friends of farming in Kenya, in Africa and across the world. Welcome to Money AgriTech. We want to have a discussion on maize farming. Welcome. I will demonstrate step by step how to achieve over 100,000 Kenya shillings or 714 US dollars per acre. This is an equivalent of 250,000 Kenya shillings per hectare or an equivalent of 1,785 US dollars. Mind you, this is not profit after all the expenses have been catered for. To achieve this type of yield, you need to do everything right. You need to be a disciplined farmer. This is so, uh, what is that that you need to do right? One, you need to get the right seed variety. Two, you need to get the right plant population, both per acre and per hectare. And three, you need to do it right in terms of nutrition that is fertilization, fertilizer and fertilizer. Now, let's start with the uh, seed variety. To be able to achieve what we are talking about, uh, for this case we want to consider the, the long season variety. Uh, this one should be in a location with the long rains of up to four months and above to maturity. Or let us say that which takes between four months and 5.5 months to mature. There are many varieties in the market promoting whichever country you are. So the choice is yours. Uh, the other thing that you need to consider is the plant population. This is very critical. You can have the right seed variety, have the right nutrition, but have very poor spacing and therefore end up with wrong plant population. What this one means is that when the, the plant population is too high, we will have competition which will end up leading to lower yield. When we have too few plants, that one will also means that the yield will also go down. Each plant will achieve maximum yield, but overall per acre, you are not going to get anything. Now, on the plant population and spacing, we want to work with the 75 centimeters from one row to another one. Then we want to work with uh, 25 centimeters from one plant to another one. That is intra row spacing, 25 centimeters. We are considering our average acre, which measures 4,046 meters squared. 
with this we are going to achieve plant population of 21,515 plants. If properly fed, uh, you are going to harvest 4,731 kilograms of maize. That is an equivalent of 52 bags of 90 kilograms. Each country will convert dollar into Kenya shillings or also depending on the price per bag of maize. Uh, the lowest turnover that we are going to get at per 90 kg bag is 3,600 Kenya shillings. This is an equivalent of 189,244 Kenya shillings per acre. Cost per acre is 52,000 Kenya shillings which is an equivalent of 371 US dollars. Net profit 137,244 Kenya shillings. This one is an equivalent of 980 US dollars. If you go to the lower side, because as farmers we need in order to over expect, we can consider 85% performance, which actually gives us 160,857 Kenya shillings gross returns or gross, gross turnover. This leads to net profit of 108,857 Kenya shillings per acre. This is an equivalent of 777 US dollars per acre. Mind you, this is achieved in 4.5 to 5 months of growing maize. We can do mind game here by confirming that if you really are not employed and you are earning this quantity of money, then you can divide this into 5 months which adds up to 27,448 Kenya shillings per month. At the very lowest, you are going to have 21,771 Kenya shillings per month. For me, I'll consider 13 acres, which will give me 356,834 Kenya shillings per month. That is an equivalent of 2,000. 548 USD. That's good money. With this amount of money, you don't have to, to go crying around of lack of employment. We are going to proceed in the next episode by moving to the farm and be able to see what one or two farmers have done be able to point out the mistakes that actually led to the yield they normally get. Thank you. We will request you to subscribe and leave your comments so that every time we upload the next video, you will be notified. Thank you.